Fire in 3, 2, 1. Hello YouTube. It's that time of the month. Gotta clean both rigs out. So uh, I'm gonna run some Prime 95 and um, show some temperatures before I clean them out and then I'm gonna do it after to see if anything changes so let's get started all right we got uh this my main rig right here got the intel core i7 3820 in this thing and um we're sitting at idle 34 35 celsius so i'm going to start the prime prime 95 stress test let's see here all right She's at uh, 55, 57, about 60 Celsius. So I'm going to let this one run and I'm going to start the next one. All right, we got the second workstation here, which has an AMD FX 6300. And it's running at 16 degrees Celsius idle. I got an air cooler in this thing. I'll, I'll show you guys the next setup video, which will be soon because I'm doing some reinvestments re re to the office area and uh so here let me um run a stress test well, yeah this is my second workstation here for anyone that comes in and wants a game or you know help me a project so uh we're on at 31 16 degrees celsius or 31 celsius um we're gonna i'm gonna let these systems run for about maybe 10 minutes or so and then I'll come back with results on that hi buddy alright guys it's been about 10 minutes as you can see I set a timer um, we're at about 75 to 76 celsius every now and then, or for average it's pretty high but taking in fact this is the worst case scenario and I got this, over, this processor overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz then yeah it's stock is like 3.6 or 3.8 gigahertz i'm not 100 percent on that i think it's 3.8 gigahertz but still it's not real bad i mean it gets up about 60 65 in game games like the alpha one it gets up about there so all right let's check the temps on the amd rig all right right here we're running about 42 degrees celsius which ain't our intel uh, temps are read a bit higher than AMD's. I don't. I think uh, Intel has better sensors of these, so they're way more accurate. Which is why it's bouncing all over the place. So, but yeah, this ain't real bad. Hi, buddy. But yeah. Uh, so next, we're gonna disconnect the both PCs and take them out and clean them. Some plug in some cables. Some plug in some cables. Alright, first I'm gonna dust out the Intel rig and I'll take care of the AMD rig. This is the mighty dining stuff. I used to use the air compressor to do this stuff, but I learned that it is not safe. It will blow out water. It's not it's not worth the risk. So spend about four or five dollars to get a can of air at Walmart and you'd be better off. First, we're gonna get this air filter right here and blow that out. I'm just not sure how really clean that is, but it'll do the job. Oh shit! Also, be careful. Don't 
If you spray it too much, the can will get ice cold, and if you tilt it, it'll spray out liquid. Let's see. See if you can see the. See that? Yeah. That's why you don't tilt it upside down. Make sure it's straight up like this, so you can get. See. All right, we're gonna put the air filter back on. Now we're gonna open the case and take the lid. I'm gonna plug these fan wires. All right, we'll move the case lid and I'm gonna clean it out. With the fans on the side. Okay. Wipe this off of my shirt here. Which is probably not a standard thing to do, but it's quickest from what I'm doing here. And now we're gonna blow these fans out. They're all dusty, you see. Woo! It's like this. Damn. Exhaust fan right here. Sorry about the quality. Really need to invest in the cameraman here, but I get the funds to do it now. Just cleaning everything out, trying to get it all, you know, all that dust out. Oh, next, real quick after this. I'm going to take the radiator chop off. All right, well, we're testing CPU temps, right? So I'm going to clean this radiator out. Just got this thumb screw here, I think, or should be, uh, yeah, yep, yep, it's hand tightened. There we go. All right, we're going to clean this out. Alright, we'll clean this radiator out here. Oh. Yeah, the can starting to get cold, but I ain't got much time to get this done. So, still, it quit spraying whenever it gets cold. So, just gotta be careful here. Alright, clean the inside things up. Mm -hmm. Starting to get a little icy there. Can't tell. Yeah, you see that water? Alright. Let's wait about a couple minutes and we'll get the rest of this clean. Alright, clean out the, pull out the front here. We got a front thing. Dusty, dusty, dusty. I almost had two cans of this stuff here. Help out quite a, quite a bit. Oh, I think we got it pretty good, most of it. There's a little bit of dust particles in there, but it can't be perfect. All right, I'm gonna put the speed back together. This system doesn't have the side latch on it, so we got the back screws out, which ain't a big deal. The thumb, that thumb strength, we got out here reset. All right, we're gonna clean this lid off. Oh. All right. 
right. Pull the screen out of here. Alright, can errors for now, unfortunately, but we got clean for the most part. Put it back together. Okay, we have both systems up and running now. Uh, we're at 33 degrees Celsius idle. So uh, I got—I'm gonna run this test about 10 minutes again. So we're about fairly even on the result, results, and then uh, we'll see how it is under load. So see you guys in about 10 minutes. All right, uh, it's been about probably about 20 minutes now. I had to eat dinner. Uh, we're we're at 68, 69 degrees Celsius, and it was at 75, 76 Celsius last time. So the conclusion would be that on this system, cleaning the dust out help things run a lot better, especially at radiator. So, excuse me. So yeah, it was well worth it, and it helped it about five, about five to eight degrees difference, but still. Helped quite a bit. Now let's move on to the AMD rig and see what the improvements are. All right, we're at 44 degrees Celsius. I think it was about 45 degrees Celsius or so in the last one, so there ain't much improvement here, but still, that's not bad, real bad temps. So, yeah, I mean, that's the worst case scenario, so it's not really that bad. All right, so the conclusion is cleaning them systems out helped quite a bit, or at least it did on the Intel rig there, so, yeah. Guess the guess what we could take from this video is that clean dust out on your PC will help it help temperatures by at least five to ten degrees Celsius. I mean, I didn't clean out the best, but I did get quite a bit of dirt out. Could have done better, but did basically majority of what I needed to do. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.